What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a fun one today. We're doing the uh, shifter cables, wheel spacers, and pedals on this Cayman. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do some before and after stuff. We got Vladdy. Hey, what's going on? Getting the friend Mary. Yeah, we got, we got a fun one today. Uh, it's gonna be a long one to strap in. And let's get it. We're gonna show you a little bit of the before for the spacers, the pedals, and the shifter and cables. So, so let's do the shifter and cables. Look at this play. It's side to side. I'm not putting any force on it. It's just what's bouncing around. This car does have 90,000 miles, and so there it is bouncing around. Let's put it in gear. You can see the play. It's side to side in gear. Plus that flex right there. You can see that flex. I mean, it's just bouncing around. Look at that side to side. It's the same. In gear. That's the throws. It's ready for an upgrade. So as far as the spacers go, you see the wheels are kind of tucked up in that fender. We're going to throw 15 millimeters on the back, and we're going to throw 7 millimeter spacers on the front. Uh, it's going to give this car a really nice stance, uh, so you'll see how big of a difference it makes. Uh, we'll show you at the end. It's going to be a good process, cleaning all the hubs off and everything and getting it to where it's super tight. Uh, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to make this car look a lot better. So there's that left side. Here you see that on the right side. We're going to pop these out, so it's going to look really good. The interior on this car is insane. 95,000 miles and there's not a scratch anywhere on this stuff. This is wicked. So for the pedals, he's got some black spots and aluminum, so I don't know if we're gonna go black or aluminum pedals, but either way, it's gonna look better than this. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all that plastic, especially on that ball joint where it pivots. We're gonna put that on bearings. Uh, it's gonna look a lot better and feel a lot better, so we'll show you that towards the end. How fired up are you? I'm fired up, let's get this. Let's do it. The numeric team back on the vlogs, let's go. So you can tell just how crappy these cables are. Just the plastic, just plastic everything, housing everything. And then you can see over here on the on this end, so you can see this piece. What you can see is this piece, look at this wobble. And that's just transforming straight into the lever. Look at that. I mean just everything here, and then you can tell the cables. Alright, so we got the stock shifter housing off and to see you can see that comparison we obviously this is all plastic you can see ours is all out of bill aluminum and then it mounts on just like OEM and then the same with the cables and then you don't have to run our cables but it goes hand in hand ours as you can tell is the adjustable throw we have three throw positions then they only have one and so that way you're able to adjust that throw and the amount of force obviously goes invertedly with that and then there's that all on ball bearings as you can see here all stainless steel hardware. There will be no rusting, it's all aluminum, 
black anodized so to preserve it and then there it is compared to that one. Nemesis, the rubber grommet, the worst part of the insole. It's all good though. Finally got everything undone. About to snap these stock cables off, get ours in, get our shifter in. Let's raise this thing up. <laughs> what? What you know about that shaggy? <laughs> Thing up, Aaron boy. Yep. I've never seen someone operate a lift so well. I mean, unbelievable. Got the uh, stock cables popped off the brackets. We're about to now pop them off. We're about to pull them out from the. Uh, in the little transmission bay here, you see them right there. So, I'm about to get rid of the old, out with the old and with the new. Cables are absolutely kicking Brad's ass. Just <laughs> kicking it, dude. So much plastic. There we go, home stretch, baby. Let's get it. Stock's almost all the way off. All right. Time to put some numeric in this thing. So as you can see, the ends. Ours is all. Metal, this is their plastic bushings. So you get that play in all the plastic pieces here, here. All the connection rods here, straight metal. We use plastic caps inside of here just to uh, eliminate the gear wind and you can tell the two different connections there. It's all plastic, all metal, running all the way through. Look at this. What is the marketing dude out here getting his hands dirty for? I'm not built for this. I wasn't cut out for this life. I'm a clean hand dude. Gotta have that routing right. Are we gonna complete this before lunch or are we just gonna prepare everything up and then? Look at this dude, all he cares about is, <laughs> all he cares about is lunch. He said lunch? Are, are we gonna do this before lunch? Are After you? lunch? Come on, bro. <laughs> Little known tip, if anyone ever says they get extra noise from the numeric cables, they're a liar or they didn't do it right. All you gotta do is throw some insulation tubing on here, hook them up right, quiet as a mouse. Isn't that right? Let's go. Getting the getting the goods in. Getting it mounted. We got it coming through the firewall here. Routing. Got to throw some insulation tubing right here on these cables under the parking brake. Make sure no noise is coming through. All right. So now that we got it mounted on the transmission, we didn't tighten them down yet, but. We just got it in place, hand tight, and then uh, we just did it through, fed it all the way through to the shifter, have the shifter installed. I didn't clip this one in yet, so then uh, I'm still gonna be able to adjust it, and then I'm gonna uh, show you that underneath right after this. Getting these cables in, boy. Set. What's going on right now? Look at that power stance. <laughs> All right, so now we're about to finish off the adjusting. I'm sitting in the car, we're about to run through it. He's gonna be at the transmission side. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna snap it into his shifter side first, and then what he's gonna do is, I don't have it snapped in on the transmission side, and so it's, it's easier with two people. If you have one, it's fine, but 
what he's gonna do is he's gonna go and then he's gonna travel it forward, travel it back. And what I'm gonna do is on the transmission side is I'm gonna push the selector all the way to reverse or uh, all the way forward. And then I'm gonna make sure that the cable is traveling past that. So say this is the selector, I push it with my hand all the way forward and then make sure that the cable goes all the way past that. If not, then I tell him on the front side to adjust it, to pull it forward or back based off of where that selector is. So say it's the selector, I push it forward, I push the cable forward, make sure that it travels at least an eighth inch more forward. Then I push the selector all the way back, then I, I uh, take the cable, pull it all the way back and make sure it goes an eighth inch more. So now, whenever your selector is gonna be going through from all the way forward and all the way back my cable is able to reach all that area and so what you do is you do that for each cable and that's how it's done if not then we have somebody inside the car adjusting it further or back or forward did you so get all that <laughs> sweet this roller coaster is lit what'd you say <laughs> this roller coaster is lit <laughs> Finally got all the adjustments done. Zero play. None. Boom. This thing is like an absolute rival. Boom. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Now we're about to... Oh, we got it cool. Uh, about to put the wheel spacers on. Let's get it. Alright. We're getting these wheels all about to throw some spacers on. Glad's shown. So we run super tight tolerances on our spaces, so we gotta make sure and clean these hubs really well. So we have no uh, no wobble or anything. So that's what we're doing right now, we're taking these uh, sand guns and just making sure to get these done really well before we throw these bad boys away. It's looking so much better. 15 millimeters in the back. We're gonna do seven in the front. Looks awesome. All right, so that's that's enough for today. Uh, we're gonna finish up the wheel spacers and uh, all that. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna throw some pedals on. He's gonna come by and swing up and pick it in the morning. So uh, until then, we'll see you. All right, we're back. Uh, so last night we got the front and back wheel spacers on. Uh, they look so much better. Right up against that fender well. Uh, so he's about to pick up the car. I'm at an hour, so I'm gonna slap some of these pedals on real quick for him. Uh, let me get these out of there. Probably put some black black ones in there, match some of these little accents. Uh, full numeric package going in, so let's do that. Our pedals aren't just for looks, they are also for performance, so here's that coverage that we always say for that heel-toe size. 
and then also you'll get the look at this pivot ours is all aluminum right there see that on ball bearings very smooth no resistance here this is stainless steel here and then you got this pivot point which if you can feel it I mean just look how thin of a pivot point that is right there that's where it's pivoting on it's just bending plastic and this is on all the cars not just the 987s this is on the 911s 718s you name it and they're all using that same pivot right there so we removed that with the ball bearings and uh, stainless steel hardware and really smooth as you can tell look at this bending of plastic compared to this yeah. we got our pedals installed looks a million times better and oh. it's gonna feel a million times better there it is the whole numeric package done and dusted there's the right, the shifter right there in the middle no don't sleep we have it set up for the customer so he can try it out the throws with the adjustable. So before we put that last boot on, if you want to adjust the throws, all you do is just take off that boot. And he gets... Yeah. With the brand new lugs too. Looking good. Happy customers. Well. That's gonna do it for us. What a beautiful day. Got the whole numeric package on this beautiful Cayman 987 here. Got the spacers and pretty pedals, shifter. Uh, waiting on the customer to come pick it up. So make sure to head over to numericrace.com, get a new t-shirt, get the new logo. Got a cool little graphic shirt here. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.